All right, let's take a look at object manipulation. So I'm going to hit W on the keyboard, and that's going to bring up our 3D gizmo. Now, in the last section, we looked at how we can move, scale, and rotate our object. Now we're going to look at some of these icons here and see what they do. So the first icon here says transpose all selected subtools. Right now we have just one visible subtool, so I'm going to head over to the subtool menu and I'm going to enable this second subtool that we have here. I'm just going to hold Alt and switch to the second subtool. And now, as you can see, when I make any changes, it's going to only apply to this one subtool. So if I scale this, if I move this up, if I rotated it, it's just going to apply to that one subtool. Scaled it down, whatever I did, it just applies to that one subtool. If I were to come and click on this icon again, you can now see that that icon changed. What this does is it's going to make universal changes to all the subtools that we have here. So if I were to move it up, scale it down, whatever I were to do, it's going to apply all this universally. So now I'm just going to check that again. I'm going to hide the subtool, move over to this, and we'll move on to the second icon that we have here. So the second icon is this lock. So if I were to unlock this, it's going to basically move our gizmo around. So we can basically use this to change the pivot of our gizmo. And now if I were to lock this again and start to make some changes, it's going to use this as the pivot point. So if I were to scale, this is the result. And if I were to rotate, it's going to use this as the pivot. And right next to this, we have reset mesh orientation. And if I were to click on this icon, it's going to reset our transformation. Right next to that, we have this little home icon, which is going to set mesh to axis. So right now, if I click on this, we're going to get an offsetted result. And the reason for this is because our gizmo here is not centered on the mesh. So if we want to center the gizmo on the mesh, all we have to do is come over here to go to unmask center and click on this icon right here. So now that we've got this 3D gizmo here, I'm just going to hit this home icon and that's going to bring this object to the central axis. Right next to that, we have sticky mode. And if we just activate sticky mode, what this is going to do is it's going to keep your gizmo pinned to the same position. So if I were to move this up, it's going to pin this to the previous location. And I'm just going to uncheck that and move that back to the mesh center. Next to that, we have this little gear icon. And if we click on this, we can see that we get access to a bunch of deformers. Now, I'm not going to go over this in this video. We'll take a look at this in another video. So now we're going to come over here and disable the 3D gizmo. And that's going to give us access to this staff. And this is the legacy move tool. So if you want to draw the staff onto your object, all you have to do is click and drag. Holding down shift is going to snap it at different increments. And the circle in the center here is going to move your object since we are on the move tool at the moment. Now we have some circles off here on the side as well, and they do two completely different things. So I'm just going to redraw this onto the mesh. And now if I just click and drag, it's going to clip our mesh. And this can be very handy when doing hard surface design. The other thing here is just going to skew our mesh. Now, if you want to reposition this, all you have to do is click on the line here and you can basically reposition this however you like. And then you can see that we have some more icons here. And if I just click on this, it's going to snap to the Y axis. If I click on that, snap it to the X and so on. We also have Z axis. So if I click on that, it's going to snap it on the Z axis. Now this transpose line can also be used to measure distance and we can basically come up here and see that it says 4.2 units and this can also be used to make sure things line up and so on. So the next thing I'm going to move on to is the scale. So I'm just going to draw this out again and this time if we come over to the ring on the extreme end here this is basically going to scale our object in the x y and z axes. If I come to this, it's basically going to do something similar. And the one in the middle is again going to skew things in one direction. The next 
we have is the rotate tool. So I'm just going to draw this out again. And so if I, let's just zoom out a bit so that we can see this a little better. So just going to draw that out again. Now, if I use this ring right here, what this is going to do is it's going to basically make this rotate around this axis right here. But if I were to use this ring here, it's going to make this rotate with this as the pivot point. So let's just try that again. So using this ring as the pivot point, it's basically going to rotate like so. And that pretty much covers everything when it comes to object manipulation. So I'll see you in the next section.